In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Let us pray. O God, who have been pleased to increase your adopted children in all the world, and who made the blood of the martyr St. Andrew, Kim Tae Gon, and his companions, a most fruitful seed of Christians, grant that we may be defended by their help and profit always from their example. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading in the first letter of St. Paul to Timothy. At the moment of writing to you, I am hoping that I may be with you soon. But in case I should be delayed, I wanted you to know how people ought to behave in God's family, that is, in the church of the living God, which upholds the truth and keeps it safe. Without any doubt, the mystery of our religion is very deep indeed. He was made visible in the flesh, attested by the Spirit, seen by angels, proclaimed to the pagans, believed in by the world, taken up in glory. The Word of the Lord Great are the works of the Lord. I will thank the Lord with all my heart in the meeting of the just and their assembly. Great are the works of the Lord to be pondered by all who love them. Great are the works of the Lord. Majestic and glorious his work. His justice stands firm for ever. He makes us remember his wonders. The Lord is compassion and love. Great are the works of the Lord. He gives food to those who fear him, keeps his covenant ever in mind. He has shown his might to his people by giving them the lands of the nations. Great are the works of the Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia. Accept God's message for what it really is, God's message, and not some human thinking. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Jesus said to the people, what description can I find for the men of this generation? What are they like? They are like children shouting to one another while they sit in the marketplace. We played the pipes for you, and you wouldn't dance. We sang dirges, and you wouldn't cry. For John the Baptist comes not eating bread nor drinking wine, and you say he is possessed. The Son of Man comes eating and drinking, and you say, Look, a glutton and a drunkard, a friend of tax collectors and sinners. Yet wisdom has been proved right by all her children. The Gospel of the Lord. Sisters and brothers, have you experienced being in a situation with someone who is inconsistent with what they say or do. And no matter how much you try to adapt to their needs or expectations, but either way you end up being in the wrong. Well, this is exactly what happened with Jesus and John the Baptist. In our gospel today, we heard Jesus using the analogy of playing the pipes and singing dirges to illustrate the hypocritical behavior of the religious leaders of their time. Because John the Baptist was a pious and self-disciplined man, but his opponents called him insane or possessed because of his unconventional appearance and extreme 
manner of living. Jesus, by contrast, as part of his mission of salvation, willingly associated, drank, and dined with people whom the religious leaders regarded as sinners and outcasts. Unfortunately, they too accused him of being a glutton and drunkard. Of course, the accusation of Jesus isn't true. It was just a means to discredit Jesus because he did not fit their ideas of the Messiah and so that they can carry on with their hypocritical life. And as Jesus did not play to their tune, so to speak, he was rejected. And in rejecting Jesus, they rejected God's divine plan. Sisters and brothers, while it's frustrating to deal with people who have all sorts of reason to justify their actions, we need to reflect on our own behaviors too. How often do we find ways to discredit others just to justify ourselves and avoid the need to change or be accountable for our actions? How often do we spin things around and make it look like others are the problem when actually we are the problem. Therefore, St. Paul in his letter to Timothy today reminds us that as Christians, we are a family of God. So let us be aware of our behaviors which may not be dancing to the tune of Jesus' teaching and the rhythm of his way of life. Let us be open to the spirit of correction and be thankful when we receive feedback because often than not, these are opportunities the Lord is giving us to amend our life and be better Christians. Finally, St. Andrew Kim, whom the church celebrates his feast day together with his companions today, once said, I urge you to remain steadfast in faith so that at last we will all reach heaven and there rejoice together. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us pray. Nourished with the food of the valiant as we celebrate the blessed martyrs, we humbly ask you, O Lord, that clinging faithfully to Christ, we may labor in the church for the salvation of all. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life.